quantum vacuum and zero-point energy access. Is free energy available for all of us? Free energy is a term being tossed around these days, and not one that many within the new energy movement like to use. That's because it's not really free, or what we perceive free to be. It's not like the power source for generating the energy to run these machines is coming from nowhere. It's coming from the quantum vacuum, which would seem to be available for our use in unlimited quantities, given the fact that it's the invisible stuff that makes up our known entire universe, in which could be a sea of universes and dimensions. There is enough to go around. Sure, solar, wind, and other clean energy initiatives are great, and the more the better, but the world has been completely blinded by the fact that there are many more advanced ways to generate clean energy that could revolutionize our world in several different paradigm changing ways. Much to my surprise, these concepts have been proven in hundreds of laboratories around the world, but have not really seen the light of day. Dr. Brian O'Leary The Quantum Vacuum, what is it? Long ago, physicists discovered that what we call space is not empty, that there is energy in space, and that it's full of stuff not visible to the human eye. This is exactly what an atom is made up of, spinning and vibrating bits of energy, once perceived to be completely void and empty. Turns out, it's probably the invisible that governs the visible. No point is more central than this, that space is not empty. It is the seat of the most violent physics. John Wheeler. This was further illustrated in what's known as the Casimir effect, which demonstrates zero point energy. The implications of this are far reaching and have been written about extensively within theoretical physics by researchers all over the world. Today, we are beginning to see that these concepts are not just theoretical, but instead, very practical. The next question after this discovery became, how much of this energy can be tapped and how much power generation can it provide us with? A video of Nassim Haram, who currently leads the teams of physicists, electrical engineers, mathematicians and other scientists to explore the frontier of unification principles and their implications, at a TEDx talk at USCD. In it, he goes into more detail. Space is actually not empty and it's full of energy. The energy in space is not trivial there's a lot of it and we can actually calculate how much energy there is in that space and that reality might actually come out of it. Everything we see is actually emerging from that space. Nassim from his TEDx talk. One paper titled, Extracting Energy and Heat from the Vacuum in Physical Review by Daniel C. Cole, Ph.D. and Associate Professor at Boston University in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and physicist Harold E. Puthoff, shows. Relatively recent proposals have been made in the literature for extracting energy and heat from electromagnetic zero-point radiation via the use of the Casimir force. The basic thermodynamics involved in these proposals is analyzed and clarified here, with the conclusion that yes, in principle, these proposals are correct. This brings us to the next point, that these concepts are not only true in principle, they are no longer theoretical. These are not just French scientists with science fiction ideas. They are mainstream ideas being published in mainstream physics journals and being taken seriously by mainstream military and NASA type funders. Dr. Harold E. Puthoff. Theodore C. Loder, Professor Emeritus at the Institute for the Study of Earth, oceans and space at the University of New Hampshire puts it best. There are technologies presently being repressed, that are real and could replace the present fossil fuel usage with appropriate investment in research necessary to bring them online. There are scientists ready to testify at a Senate hearing on the realities of these issues. Is there an example? While the world has been distracted by hula hoops, betrocks.com, fiber optics and the latest new app to, to hypnotize the masses, engineers, and inventors have quietly been at work trying to understand what Tesla meant when he said, ere many generations pass, our machinery will be driven by a power obtainable at any point in the universe. Toby Groats. 
in the trailer for a film called Out of the Void. It premiered at the Vienna International Festival. At the one minute mark, you will hear Paramahamsa Tuari speak, one figure who has received praise from the likes of John Wheeler, whose research was covered in the film. The film documents tests of his reactionless generator filmed in his lab in India. In the actual video of the machine in action, taken from the film, where the over unity test results are then confirmed at the Kurlaska factory, India, where the vice president, factory manager, and lead electrical engineer discuss their replication of the device and over unity test results. While thinking about these concepts, it is important to acknowledge the world of secrecy. There are multiple inventors utilizing these concepts, and unfortunately the tray leads towards the secret space program, and the powerful people that might have to take a big hit if they do not have control of these technologies. It's also important to note that ever since the Invention Secrecy Act was brought into effect in 1951, over 5,000 inventions alone were issued secrecy orders at the end of 2014. As Stephen Aftergood from the Federation of American Scientists reports, the 1971 list indicates that patents for solar photovoltaic generators were subject to review and possible restriction if the photovoltaics were more than 20% efficient. Energy conversion systems were likewise subject to review and possible restriction if they offered conversion efficiencies in excess of 70 to 80%. Something to think about. Ere many generations pass, our machinery will be driven by a power obtainable at any point in the universe. This idea is not novel. We find it in the delightful myth of Antheus, who derives power from the earth. We find it among subtle speculations of one of your splendid mathematicians. Throughout space there is energy. Is this energy static, or kinetic? If static our hopes are in vain, if kinetic, and this we know it is, for certain, then it is a mere question of time when men will succeed in attaching their machinery to the very wheel work of nature. Nikola Tesla